In the next few minutes, I want to show you how to quickly create really high-end YouTube video intros, animated YouTube video intros that you could use across all your videos. And you just need to do this one time and you'll have that video file. You just put it in the beginning of your videos. And I'm going to just show you two different things you need. You need a template. So these are created by professionals. You could just put in your own text and your own logo. And you also need an editing software. Both of those has a free seven day trial that I'll link below and I'll talk about it more as we jump in. And just one quick thing to note, make sure you keep your animated logo intro to five seconds or less if you use it in the beginning of your video, because you're going to get people dropping off in the beginning of all YouTube videos and you don't want to give them more reason to do so. So keep those three to five seconds in the beginning of your video. Let's start over here on this platform called Envato Elements. This is basically an all in one platform for all kinds of creative assets. So you could get your video templates here that will turn into your YouTube video intro. I'll show you that in a second, but you could also get all kinds of different things. You could get music, for example, you get royalty free music. So you don't get in copyright issues. They have over a hundred thousand on this platform, sound effects, templates. And I also get my photos and stock videos. The link I have in the description gives you a seven day free trial. So you could actually do this and the application I'll use after this section will also have a seven day free trial link below. So first I just went to the video template and I searched up YouTube. And as you see over here, it's going to give me all kinds of different YouTube assets that you could use, right? Not just your animated video intro, but all I did over here is I selected openers. And if I go down here, I selected premiere pro. Now there are different applications that lets you customize these video templates. Okay. So you have after effects and motion and a couple others, but Premiere Pro is the easiest out of all of these. And it's the one that also could be downloaded with a seven day free trial. After Effects gets you more advanced results, but I recommend for beginners to stick with Premiere Pro templates. So that's all I did. And then I basically clicked on some of these. You could actually just watch the little opener video here on each one and see if you like it. I'm going to show you this one just as a quick example of how this works. All you have to do is make sure you click download and it's going to download it to your computer. These obviously have to take place on the computer because they're more advanced video intros. Now let me jump over here. This app is called Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a video editing app. Every professional uses it. Most YouTubers use it. And it's the one I've used for probably over a decade now, but look how simple this is. Okay. This is again, you could get from Adobe with a free trial link and it doesn't have any watermarks or anything. And if you stick around, you could actually subscribe to it monthly. You never have to pay for it up front. So this is exactly how it works. Let me go ahead and delete this. This is basically a brand new project I'm working with. And all I have to do here is I'm going to go to window. I'm going to go to workspace and I'm going to change this to FX. So you get something that looks like this. I'm going to go to the browse panel over here and then in my download folder, Okay. It gave me a bunch of different folders. So I got opener, subscribes, comment, lower third, all kinds of different things end screens, transitions, and usually they come with video tutorials and I'll give you another resource in a second that lets you really master premiere pro for free. But right now, all I have to do is go to openers. And right now I have eight different ones. These are called Mogurt files. All I have to do is grab them and bring them over here, right over here in this box. Okay. So this is another Mogurt file. And let me just show you another one. I'll bring in the third one. I'll drop it over here. And I basically just did a quick search if you have a lot of them. So this one is good. And I just drag it over here in the beginning of my video. Okay. I'm going to say change. And this is called my timeline down here. Okay. This is where my editing is going to take place right now. I don't have anything edited. It's blank, but check this out. I'm going to go in the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and just press play right over here. And check this out. How cool is this? This whole animated intro I just got, I didn't have to design anything from scratch. It took me less than a minute, right? To find it and download it. And all I have to do is on this essential graphics panel, I just have to go to logo. You could actually change the logo, right? The change the logo size and scale right here. If you wanted to make it bigger or smaller, all the text is editable. So my channel here is called Halfinity. So I'm going to type in Halfinity. That's going to change it here. You could change, for example, if you want to keep or delete the text for your website, you could go ahead and either delete it, or I could type in hoffinity.com and put that up here and then follow us on social. If you want to keep that, or again, all this is editable. 
even the subscribe text in the beginning, I could, if I wanted to, right, change that. But in this case, the subscribe text makes sense. And that's really all you need for your intro. And this one is a little bit too long, right? This one, as I mentioned, uh, you want it to be less than five seconds. So all I do is I change the speed. So I right click over here and there's a speed setting, speed. And I could just change this to 200, press OK. Well, now it's five seconds. If I press play, you can see it just sped it up. There you go. And this bundle, just the opener itself, had eight different files, right? So eight different options. But as you saw, there were a bunch of folders with all kinds of things. So the subscribe thing that shows up at the end, the end screen, you have all of that now. You could even get the sound effects from Envato Elements and lay it down underneath if you want some kind of a sound to go along with your video intro. And I'll show you one more resource here. Envato also has a tutorial channel. So what I like about this, let me sort by most popular to show you. They have entire complete courses on things like Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you wanted to master Adobe Premiere Pro or different animation platforms, even After Effects, which is much more advanced than Adobe Premiere Pro, but you could get really high-end graphics with it, you could just watch these entire completed courses on the Envato YouTube channel. So I'll go ahead and link that below. This is obviously completely free. Once you create your video and add it to YouTube, make sure you link it below so I could check it out and leave you a comment. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.